Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about on how to not waste your platinum and what not to do with your platinum in Warframe. Now, getting platinum is really easy if you are dedicated into trading. Now, I'm literally, I love doing trading because I love getting high amounts of platinum and giving it away to other people. For example, on my Discord or just on YouTube. You know, if you do want to get some platinum, make sure you do watch the Warframe giveaway channel and do join my Discord. I sometimes do give platinum to people. For example, one of my moderators in there needed a ribbon space, so I bought him some ribbon space. He didn't ask, like, oh, can you buy me some ribbon space? But I bought him some ribbon space because he said he needed some. Now, platinum is amazing in this game because there's so much that you can do with platinum and it is amazing to have platinum. So, first thing what I recommend not to do in uh, Warframe is to rush stuff in uh, Warframe. Now, I do rush stuff, but that's because, one, I have a lot of platinum, and two, because I use that for content. And I can get that platinum back really easy because I have sets that I've already got to sell what can give me that profit back. So, you see here, I'm 1,300. Say I wanted to rush something that costs 50, but I know that I've got a set to sell. For example, I think I have Nova to sell so if you're gonna rush something make sure you have like a prime set or something that you can know you can get your platinum back so I don't recommend rushing stuff I recommend do waiting for stuff but if you can get that platinum back a lot more easier and if or if you're trying to do it for content then sure do it if you want to I don't recommend it but if you have a lot of platinum as well then do that as well so now another thing is on the boosters so we're going to go to boosters real quick and I'm going to talk about the boosters. So you see here the three day affinity, three day boosters all cost 40 platinum, right? And then the seven day cost 80. Now that is, that is four more extra days and it costs another 40. So you get in like one day for free. Now when you go to the 30 day it costs 200. Now that is a lot of platinum but it is 100% more worth than just keep buying the three day. Because if you buy 10 three day, what is a 30 day if you buy 10 three day boosters that costs 400 platinum but a 30 day resource a 30 day booster is 200 so you're saving 200 platinum right there with just getting a 30 day booster instead of keep getting that three day booster so i really recommend just getting try and get all three day boosters because all 30 day boosters because then well for me anyway I end up always getting that platinum back so by the end of that 30 day. So I highly recommend do getting 30 day boosters instead of keep getting 3 day boosters to save a lot more platinum. Because if that was with all of them, I believe there's like 4 boosters. So saving 200 on 4 is 800 platinum spare right there. So that's 800 platinum that you, you've literally just saved from getting the 200 day. Now another thing that I do recommend is with non-prime frames you can buy them you can buy the non-prime frames and you can buy non-prime warframe um non-prime weapons now what i recommend for this if you see here they cost like 300 uh the easier ones such as excalibur and mag all cost really cheap because you can get them like at the start of the game but i what i recommend for doing this if you want to buy a non-prime warframe is I highly recommend waiting until you get like a 75% or 50% off or whatever because then you're not uh, using as much platinum. When you get a 75% off, they're around about under 100 and when they're about 50% it's about 100 and about 60 or some, somewhere around that area. So get in, make sure you do uh, buy them when it is at 50% or 75% off as that just saves you a lot more platinum than normal. Another thing I recommend doing with your Platinum is just don't buy random stuff that you don't know what it is for on the, in the trade chat. Now I know a lot of people have started the game and they straight away buy uh, Prime sets and all that. But you know you don't want to straight away buy Prime sets because I've seen a lot of my mates as well have started the game and I said oh Prime sets are the best Warframes that you can get. They are basically just an upgraded version of the regular, but they're not really too good. They just look better and they have a little bit better stats and they have extra former. And now uh, what some of they have done is they've got platinum, they've sold like, a bunch of their prime junk, and then they end up buying a prime warframe, but then realizing that they didn't have the resources and they didn't have the uh, warframe slots. So when you are a new player, what I recommend doing is just straight up just getting Rhino, the non-prime version of Rhino, by going to the uh, boss on Venus, and then just going through all the star charts, so you have all the nodes, so you have all the resources available, 
and then when you get in all the planets just get warframe slots because uh, get warframe and weapon slots because if you don't get warframe and weapon slots then you're just going to run out and that prime set that you bought is going to be kind of a waste because you're going to have to buy another like say for example you bought I don't know someone cheap for example for like 100 platinum or something like that and then you realize oh I don't have any warframe slots so that means you're going to have to build it all and then wait till you have another uh, extra 20 platinum now 20 platinum is not a lot for me or and a lot of people but what for a new player 20 platinum kind of can be a lot because they can't get as much platinum as as anyone else because they're just new to the game so make sure you do get warframe slots now they're really important to get and uh, if you don't have a warframe slot then you can't get a warframe same with weapon slots make sure you get weapon slots i never do buy weapon slots but make sure you do buy weapon slots if you are getting to your mastery now i'm not really a big fan of getting to my mastery i kind of don't mind it I just do it when I'm like leveling anyone up anyway. It's not I'm not like oh mastery mastery mastery. That's why I don't buy any um, warframe um, weapon slots because I just sell the weapons I don't use. For example, I don't know I'll probably end up selling this or something, and then I just just basically I just sell the weapons that I don't use. And you could do that as a newer player. I don't recommend it as you if you want to do content on the game. If you don't sell the weapons, then obviously you can just make them again so that's basically been it guys for this video uh, it's a really simple video on how to not just waste the platinum but uh yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you very if you like this three if you make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video i would really appreciate it make sure you join my discord if you need any help and want to see any more giveaways and yeah see you guys later peace out